Hi everyone, my name is Ji Jen and I'm the Assistant Dean responsible for admissions to the LKC School of Medicine. Today, I would like to give you an overview of the admissions process to the NTU MBBS degree program. A little bit on the school's history. The school started as a collaboration between NTU and the Imperial College of London in 2010. We took in students from 2013 and since 2018, we have graduated seven cohorts of students who are now serving as fully qualified doctors, many of whom are currently pursuing specialist training in the various public health care institutions in Singapore. This year, the school is embarking on a new chapter. We will be transitioning to an NTU MBBS degree program ahead of the conclusion of the NTU Imperial College collaboration in 2028 after a very successful 10-year partnership. Our first intake of students to the NTU MBBS program join us this August. The curriculum has recently been enhanced to the needs of the rapidly evolving landscape in the practice of medicine. We now include subjects like precision medicine as well as the role of artificial intelligence in healthcare. We have also expanded the scope in medical humanities. We believe our program will equip our graduates with a strong foundation in the science of medicine, knowledge and role of data and technology in healthcare as well as the arts and humanities in the healing of the patients. Now, let me talk about the admissions criteria. There are two parts to this. First, what you need to submit during the application process. And second, what the requirements are to be offered a place in the program. There are four items that are required to be complete during the online application. Number one, your academic result. This refers to the result from the national exams that you would have taken based on your qualification group. For example, for those from junior colleges, that would be your A-level exam results. And for those from Polytechnic, it would be your five-semester GPA results. Two, your University Clinical Aptitude Test or UCAT results. You would have received your results upon completion of your online test. Three, your personal statement, which is a 300-word essay. This short essay is to introduce yourself, the reasons for wishing to study medicine, and any experience that may have driven your desire to be a doctor. Your personal statement will also form the basis for one of the multiple mini-interview stations. 4. You would also need to submit two referee reports. One of the reports must be from your civics tutor or personal tutor. The other may be from someone of your choice who knows you well enough. To be offered admissions, you will be shortlisted for the MMI based on your academic and UCAT results. Two, if you receive an offer for admission, you will be required to go through a health checkup and make a criminal report declaration. This slide is a summary of the application and admission timeline. If you are planning to apply to LKC Medicine in AY 2025-2026, you should already have taken and gotten the results of your UCAT by now. That is this year in 2024. The NTU online application period will open from October 2024 till mid-March 2025. The shortlisting and MMI process will largely take place at the end of March to the middle of April. Do note that the MMI dates are fixed. Please try not to be away or travel overseas during this period as we will not be able to provide any makeup dates. Offer and acceptance will be made in tranches and will start from the end of April 2025 till June or July 2025. Health screening will commence about the same time as the matriculation each year. The school will start in the first week of August 2025. There are different application periods for each of the different qualification groups. The dates are shown in the slide. You can also refer to the NTU website for more information. This slide summarizes the minimum academic requirements. If you are taking the A-levels, you will need to have a H2 pass in chemistry and a H2 pass in either biology 
of physics. All the H2 subjects must be taken at one sitting, including GP and knowledge and inquiry. For those in the polytechnics, you will need a good GPA in a health science related diploma. You can refer to NTU's webpage for the list of eligible diplomas. For students who have outstanding achievements, for example, you represent the country in the Olympics or the SEA Games, you can apply through the Aptitude Based Admissions or ABA. We will recognize these additional non academic achievements that you may have. Therefore, for those applicants who have exceptional talents or outstanding achievements, you are encouraged to check the box on the application form in the online portal and submit commentary proof of your achievements. We have listed examples of the level of achievements that will qualify for this route. Do note that the, for ABA applications, the criteria for admissions will still be based on your academic and UCAT results. If you have met the cutoff scores, the ABA application will be disregarded. If you miss the cutoff scores marginally, your ABA achievements will then be taken into consideration. Since you would not have known what the cutoff scores will be, we encourage you to include ABA in your application if you have. The multiple mini interviews or MMI will be conducted at the end of March or middle of April. The MMI is a series of eight short five minute sessions to test your aptitude and motivation for studying medicine. Things we look for include your personal motivation to study medicine, your capacity to deal with stress, your communication skills, your maturity of character, and presence of uh, leadership skills and ability to work in teams. Two commonly asked questions on the MMI are, how do I prepare for the MMI? And what is tested during the MMI? To help you prepare for the MMI, you can watch the online videos produced by our LKC medicine students. These are there are tips on taking the MMI. This will help you familiarize yourself with the MMI process and give you a, a, some confidence in taking the MMI. Other than that, you just have to present your most authentic self on the MMI day. This slide shows the school fees for AY 2024-2025. The AY 2025-2026 tuition fees will be pu published on NTU's website in due course after approval from the authorities. We understand that medical school education is very expensive and we have various schemes to alleviate your financial burden that you can apply for. Here are some of the generous scholarships available. Some of them are merit-based and others are needs based award. For those who do not qualify for scholarships, there are bursaries which are based on income. The bursary amount will be based on the household income. We strongly believe that no deserving students should be denied the opportunity to pursue medicine due to financial constraints. For those who neither qualifies for scholarship or bursary, there are tuition fee loans offered by the banks. These are interest-free loans that cover up to 90% of your tuition fee. You do not need to pay interest until you graduate and start working. Finally, if you wish to know more about the school, such as the MBBS program, scholarships, financial aid available, and student life, you can scan the QR code here to access resources produced for you. We hope to see you at NTU Open House on the 1st of March at NTU Main Campus. Come join us for a full day of activities, talks and hands-on demonstrations. Our faculty, students and alumni will be there to answer your questions. See you there.